the prophet Hoshea, Hosea, chapter 12. Ephraim surrounds me with lies, and the house of Israel with deceit. Yehuda still rules with God and is faithful with holy ones. Ephraim is chasing the wind, pursuing the wind from the east. All day he piles up lies and desolation. They make a covenant with Ashur while sending olive oil to Egypt. Adonai also has a grievance against Yehuda. He will punish Yaakov according to his ways and pay him back for his misdeeds. In the womb he took his brother by the heel. In the strength of his manhood he fought with God. Yes, he fought with an angel and won. He wept and pleaded with him. Then at Beatel he found him, and there he would later speak with us. Adonai Elohe Sevaot, Adonai is his name. So you return to your God, hold fast to grace and justice, and always put your hope in your God. A huckster keeps false scales, and he loves to cheat. Ephraim says, I have gotten so rich, I have made me a fortune. And in all my prophets, no one will find anything wrong or sinful. But I am Adonai your God from the land of Egypt. Again, I will make you live in tents as in the days of the established festival. I have spoken to the prophets. It was I who gave vision after vision. Through the prophets, I gave examples to show what it would all be like. Is Gilad given to iniquity? Yes, they have become worthless. In Gilgal, they sacrifice to bulls. Therefore their altars are like piles of stones in a plowed field. Yaakov fled to the land of Aram. There Israel slaved to win a wife. For a wife he tended sheep. By a prophet Adonai brought Israel up from Egypt, and by a prophet he was protected. Adonai has given bitter provocation, so the penalty for his bloodshed will be thrown down on him, and his Lord will repay him for his insult. End of Hosea, chapter 12.